All right, Arby's mixing it up again. Just when I brought you the gyro, the euro, the gyro, however you pronounce it, they had that on the two for six. Now they got something new on the two for six. You read the title, you saw the thumbnail, fire thumbnail, not gonna lie. <laughs> but uh, cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. Before I get started, the New York license plate endorsement t-shirt is now live on Teespring. A bunch of you have shown interest, so I did it. It took me a little bit, but it's there. Link is below in the description. Not sure if it's just a link. It shows you all of the merch. Get you some merch. All right, so uh, Arby's, yes, two for six uh, by itself. I think this was how much was this? Three seventy nine, something like that. Four bucks. Uh, I have to double check that. But in this meat crafted coffin of possible goodness, we have the brand new chicken cheddar ranch sandwich. I showed you the box for a long time. Rookie move. Let's check out the sandwich. All right, check it out right there. This is the brand new chicken cheddar ranch sandwich. You're going to have some fried chicken tenders, tomato, lettuce, some cheddar cheese. They got that in the name. And you're also going to have a creamy Parmesan peppercorn ranch. Yep, that's where they get the um, ranch from. Um, peppercorn, interesting. Growing up, I think uh, high school, something like that, last year, um, I would always go to the grocery store, get the fresh, uh, long Italian baguette. Uh, I think the French baguette, Italian loaf, uh, but a long, fresh, uh, loaf of Italian bread. And I would slice it in half. Peppercorn ranch would be the base. I'd make a huge, uh, sub hoagie, uh, and I'd knock it out. So, uh, yeah, let's give this a shot. I'm not a huge fan of a sandwich that's going to throw tenders onto the uh, sandwich underneath the bun. I prefer like the uh, breast. Uh, sometimes you have a lot of movement. All right, so let's go upside down. The more you turn me inside out and round and round. Been knocking uh, Diana Ross out a lot lately on the channel. Hope you enjoy. Let's go. Crunching. Wow, first bite, a lot of crunch, a lot of flavor, and the tenders stayed put. Check it out. There's one of the tenders uh, pointing at you, saying, help me, uh, not gonna help you. All right, so as you can see, I left the tomato on, tomato and lettuce uh, on the bottom of this. Uh, I love peppercorn ranch. You're going to throw a Parmesan into the mix. I'm not sure I taste it, but I do taste that uh, peppercorn flavor in the ranch. I'm a fan of it. But I will say, now even as I'm holding it, you see the tenders are kind of separating right there. This one's, I think, even out a little further than two seconds ago. So there's a lot of movement, a lot of moving and shaking with a sandwich like this, a chicken tender sandwich. But the crunch was good. I like the flavor of the uh, creamy Parmesan peppercorn ranch. And uh, as you can see, I'm even leaving the tomato on for the second bite. So one more. Rookie move. All right, so I'm gonna give you one more uh, look of the inside right there. Kind of looks like a hot mess with those uh, tenders moving around and everything else going on. But the flavor's on point. I'm gonna say one thing. I'm not sure why it has the cheese on here. They call it uh, the chicken cheddar. They throw cheddar into the title. It's almost just an afterthought because you got everything else going on. Look at this, the peppercorn ranch right there, the Parmesan peppercorn ranch trying to sneak out of the back uh, Shawshank style. Not having it. Um, all right, so let me just give this a rating. Uh, two bites in, I'm good to go. I enjoyed it. I don't love it. I like it. And the thing with me, if I'm going to Arby's, I'm going to Arby's for the brisket or the roast beef. Very rarely am I getting a chicken sandwich or turkey or ham. It's good, but to me, the roast beef and the brisket is great. So that's where I uh, fall on the Arby meter of uh, meats because you know they have the meats. We got the meats. What is it? What is it? We have the meats. We got the meats. They got the meats. So uh, let's give it a rating, shall we? On a scale of 1 to 100, with 1 meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of... 
I'm going to give the brand new chicken cheddar ranch sandwich. Just threw a lot of words in there, but it's a chicken sandwich. I'm going to give that a rating of... It's fine. It's fine. So if you've watched the channel enough, what score is coming? 85. It's an 85. It's fine. I enjoy it on the uh, two for six. Uh, so I ended up getting a roast beef and cheddar uh, on the two for six because I think that by itself is like four and change. So uh, yeah, there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media getting the word of my channel out to the masses. A little wax on, wax off. Daniel Sutton, Karate Kid. All right, in closing, merch. The New York Endorsement License Plate T. Like I said, it's live on Teespring. Go copy one or buy one. Either way. All right, bonus footage. Uh, let me know in the comments below. I had another question. Are you like me? If you go to Arby's, if you enjoy Arby's, I know they got the curly fries too. Uh, I enjoy those as well. But if you're going for a sandwich, do you always gravitate to the roast beef or to the uh, brisket? Or do you enjoy some of the other uh, meats that they offer? Let me know.